nombre Ganaría. Hola, mi nombre Chlamydia. What do we know about STDs? Yeah. Uh, they're actually called STIs. Yes. They suck. A disease or an infection transmitted by sex or um, contact, yeah, or contact with blood or other bodily fluids. Uh, the dad. There's a lot of them. And you can get them by not having safe sex. I know quite a bit about STDs because I teach a health class. Um, so specifically, I know quite a bit about the three different types. There's um, if you categorize them, bacterial, parasitic, and the viral. I know that they're very, very common, well not common, but that a lot of people have them. And I know to avoid them at all costs because you can't get rid of most of them. Well, you can't get rid of STDs, you can get rid of STIs. They're transmitted. <laughs> they're transmitted by, they are transmitted by sex. <laughs> you can have them for life. You can they, die. They can be painful. You can you can give them to your kids. Rashes, I guess, is one. You have rashes. I mean, itching. Uh, sometimes pain. Uh, that's all I know. Do you know anybody who's had them? Uh, the yes. pictures that. Uh, chlamydia. <laughs> What happened? Oh, Can you not tell her? Just kidding. <laughs> Have you guys ever known anybody that has contracted an STD? Yes. Okay. What STD was it? Crabs. What happened? I don't know. He got crabs from his girl, and his mom was mad at us and kicked him out. So he had to come live with me. And then he had to like get this special shampoo and stuff. It was really weird. What about you, Francis? Sorry, I don't think anyone's, you know, got an STD and got kicked out of the house. What happens when you have herpes? Oh, you get this nasty looking stuff on your dick. <laughs> yeah, it's usually like white, green, or yellowish pus. Discharge. <laughs> Discharge that comes out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> What advice do I offer for prevention? Um, abstinence is always the best method of prevention when it comes to sexually transmitted diseases. Um, so I always preach abstinence, but the other method the other two methods that I always recommend are communication with your partner. Um, that communication can be about whether or not your partner's been tested. Um, and then I also recommend using contraception, uh, like condoms, to protect yourself. Uh, condoms are pretty good. Abstinence is apparently about 100% perfect way to Didn't never that. get fucking anything. Can't Except get for crabs. You can get crabs without actually having sex. Can't get a sexually transmitted infection without having sex. No, Who you, can, you can get crabs. You can get crabs. You can get crabs. At the like beach. If your partner told you that they may or may not have an STD, what would you say? I may or may not have an STD. <laughs> um, Kevin, I don't think you're going to have sex anymore. No! <laughs> don't kiss anybody until you've looked out for herpes. I don't know. I'm so afraid of catching it now because something like 60% of people have it or something. So that means 60% of the people you potentially kiss could have herpes and you can catch it even if they don't have an outbreak and all this scary stuff, so I don't know. Yay. If you figure it out, tell me. You don't wake up with a, a thing on your forehead that's like, you have an STD. Yeah, you probably don't know until it's too late.